What's up? My name is Technova here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to import SVGs into After Effects as shape layers so you can work with them. Usually this isn't something you can do because, well, of course it's not. You're not able to import SVGs directly into After Effects. Vector images are created with lines and shapes, so they're much better and easier to work with, and of course, infinitely scalable. So if you want to drop them into After Effects, especially if you want to use something like Body Movin' so you can animate SVGs using After Effects, it's pretty difficult to do. You'll need two pieces of software for this. Not only will you need Adobe After Effects, but you'll also need Adobe Illustrator to do this. There's no online converters or anything like that that we'll be using. This is incredibly simple, and I'll show you how to do it. First of all, you need an SVG. I create my SVGs using Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo. And of course, I can't export to Adobe Illustrator Files.ai. Ultimately, this is what we need our SVGs to be in. And online converters don't seem to do that good of a job keeping them as shapes, etc, etc. If I go ahead and open up my logo design document, you'll see over here I have a Discord logo. I'll turn off the Christmas theme for now. So it's a green background, a bunch of different shapes inside of a rectangle here, as well as my logo here. I'll quickly save this into a separate file as a SVG. Now I can open it up again inside of my photo editor of choice, or rather designer of choice. Because we're working with SVGs, you'll need to be working in something like Adobe Illustrator or, of course, Affinity. Now, what you'll want to do is move all of the layers down to the most basic places possible. For some reason, my image is buried about 70 deep, so I'll push it up to the top and delete these extra layers down here. I'll delete the other layers that I'm not actively using. This is just a rectangle. Effectively, what we're doing is making this as simple as possible so we can work with it in After Effects. I see my shapes over here have been turned into an image. That's not what I want. So I'll copy the group across and place it back here. There we go. Can delete the background. And now we have all of these shapes here. You can keep things grouped, but this could make things a bit more difficult later on. It's much better to have all of your different shapes on the very bottom layer if possible. And of course, it's rasterized my text as well. There we go, copying across the four parts of my logo. Everything is now in the bottom layer. I can change the opacity of these just to make it look more like the original. I'm happy with this. Editing isn't always necessary, but it's always nice to push everything to the bottom layer to make life a little bit easier. So I'll go ahead and save it as an SVG, replace the existing one. Awesome. Now, if I open up this file in a browser, you'll of course see the image that I just exported. Things are working properly. What we need to do now is open our SVG inside of Adobe Illustrator. So I'll fire it up over here. I'll drag my SVG into Adobe Illustrator, and now we can work with it. Select layer one, which is the layer that has all of your different groups in it. Click the hamburger button to the top right of it, and it'll be clicking release to layers brackets sequence. Then select all of the layers inside of the parent layer here and drag them up to the very top left over here to move them above layer one. Select layer one, click the hamburger button once again, and click it delete layer one. Everything's now in their separate layer, each of these individual items and parts. Hit Control Shift S to save as, and we'll be saving this as an AI file, an Adobe Illustrator file. Save it, and inside of here, these options don't really matter too much. I'll just leave them as is and click OK. Now we have our SVG file as an AI file, a lot bigger, but it contains most of the same things. All you have to do now is fire up After Effects. This is Audition. I really dislike their new logo layout. This is After Effects. Okay, so drag the AI image into After Effects. And when you see this window, select Composition and choose Layer Size down here. Okay, now we have a composition here that we can open up and we see all of the different layers that we saw earlier. These are all the different parts of our image. Now these are layers, they're not shape layers just yet, so we can't do much to them. Hit Control A while you have one of these items selected to select everything here. Then right click any of the items, hover over Create, and then click Create Shapes from Vector Layer. It'll then run through all of the shapes and create vector layers if possible. As you can see, we now have everything as an outline and a copyright below as a layer. All we have to do now is select all of the layers over here and then delete them. I'm holding Control to select ones that aren't directly next to each other and clicking on them, then delete to delete them. There we go. Now we've cleaned it up quite a bit. 
I get the aspect ratio is wrong, but this is just an example, so I won't really care about it. Something you may also notice is that certain things like this, which is supposed to be an O, didn't really convert that well. This is something to do with After Effects more than it has to do with Illustrator. If I expand this box over here, expand Contents, Group 1, you'll see Path 1, the inside, and Path 2, the outside. Then a Merge Paths 1. Expanding this and changing the mode from Merge to Exclude Intersections, you can now see that it's working properly. This is effectively Subtract for Curves. Of course, that is quite a bit of extra effort. Anyways, we now have an image that we can go ahead and animate. I'll select my logo over here, P, and I'll give it some keyframes. I'll just move it across to the side and maybe up, left, down, and then back to the center. There we go. Now we can go ahead and play it. And of course, things will be working as you had hoped. Of course, there is a shape layer, so you can drag them around and do with them as you please. If you expand them, contents group one, path one, Path, and you can edit them here, though I forget how to. I think I have the wrong tool selected. Anyways, if you use a plugin like Body Moving, you're able to use that now. Though I think first I'll trim the composition time to be just, say, three seconds. There we go. Much better. I'll go to Window, Extensions, Body Moving, select the layer. I'll leave everything as default, and I'll export it to my temporary folder here. Settings, I'll also make sure to include a demo there. Cool, save and render. Now, as you can see, we've successfully imported an SVG into After Effects, we've animated it, and now we've exported it with a body move-in. Awesome. If I head into my SVG folder, open up the demo folder, data, you'll see your browser open with our animated SVG playing inside of it. Awesome, this is really a super simple example of what you can do, and this video was only really supposed to focus on importing them into After Effects, but we've gone the extra mile. I'll have a more in-depth video on body moving coming sometime soon. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Hopefully that sidetrack wasn't too long, and heck, maybe you even learned something. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno, here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.